All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. Today is Friday. That means that we are playing some Chemical Beasts, because uh, this will probably be the last Friday to be on here in Daily Duels, because it looks like they're not going to make it another month. Like, uh, the polls are already up, and you guys have started voting, and some decks are all going a lot stronger than other decks. Oh, shit, are we about to go against Thunder Family? We're taking it all the way back to that, that uh, re-upload episode? Like, <laughs> uh, this hand's kind of... I wouldn't say it's bad, it's just not great. You know, it's just not great. Um, so I could actually just summon Ox then do my Unleash Your Power. Like, I really wish I had my Field Spell right now. Like, without my Field Spell, this, this opening hand is kind of eh. And I'm thinking about going with my Ox, then doing Unleash Your Power to gain these effects. But I should summon my uh, Storm Dragon. That way I can, that would be a, a rank 8 play right there. And uh, I don't know what rank 8 I want to go into. Maybe like Hope or something? Maybe Felgram? Felgram wouldn't be too terrible. I, it's not the greatest thing. And then this card would be in the graveyard when I detach as, ex, as an XC material to uh, then have Swing of Memories be useful. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So uh, I'm not sure if you guys have seen this. You probably have. I mean, I'm, I mean, come on. We know the big Yugi Tubing community and they all pretty much got stumbled in this. Um, uh, the next great Yugi Tuber season four. And I was actually sitting there thinking to myself and I was wondering, should I enter or at least attempt to enter? Uh, if you guys actually don't remember, you haven't been subscribed to me how long, I was actually in Season 3, and that was short-lived, short-lived. I made it to Round 1, which is an honor in itself, but I didn't make it any farther. And, uh, uh, I kind of got ragged on by the yu gi community, especially, especially the Cali Effect, who said I was pretty much salty because I didn't make it past Round because round 1, uh, because I didn't like how the system was done, you know? And I'm hoping, that, and, and the one thing that's making me think that, yeah, definitely, is because one, Underworld's not it's not involved, because he's a dick. I'm sorry, Underworld's a dick. Like, for a guy who should be very humble when it comes to being a YouTuber, some people aren't, and he's, he's one of them. You know, I'm very humble. I, I think, yeah, you guys think that when I say thanks for watching, thanks for all support at the end of the video, they're just I'm just blurbing it out. Like, no, I'm really sincere. Thank you guys for, you know, subscribing, watching my content, because without you, I'd be nothing. But, uh, I don't know, he just comes off cocky and arrogant, and I wasn't a big fan of him. And another one is that it was a big popularity contest, it really was. And with Nim Nim and his judges, I'm hoping that they do the system differently. Like, maybe I can get in contact with Nim Nim before entering and ask him, um, what do the judges do? Because, despite him uploading a video and saying, like, he still is like, oh, well, it's decided by you, they'll make it to the next round, and it's like... Is it still a popularity contest, or are there still judges? Because I'm not sure if you remember from the previous season. I don't remember who it was. All I know is I'm not subscribed to him because I didn't like what he did. Where one of the rounds, he literally just did, like, oh, I'm next to YouTuber because I'm awesome, and then stood up from the camera and let it record for fucking, you know, 10 minutes of nothing, you know? I'm thinking about just negating that, because if I negate that, then he has no more plays, you know? And then I could go ahead and detach my doom. So I'm just going to go ahead and negate that. Like, I think that's overall a fine play. Just be like, shh, no effect. No additional summon. Now, if he has Honest, then, you know, fucking rip me. Oh, you can't Honest me! You're unaffected by Honest. Go ahead. Go ahead and Honest me, fuck boy. Go ahead and Honest me. Fucking, wow. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Honest. Do it. Do it. Do it. No balls. You won't. You won't. Good job. Good job. Good job. Fucking, that's one of the best plays of fucking Felgrin. You're unaffected by card effect. Therefore, you're unaffected by your Honest. Ah, damn. That was one of the best Felgrin plays. <laughs> But he's like, what the fuck? What, what, what happened? You are unaffected. Yeah, oh, you didn't even want me to explain it. You just said question mark. Probably thought that fucking why do you have pro chibi doom left. All right. Like, I was going to explain to you. You're unaffected by card effects. Therefore, you're unaffected by the boosted attack of honor. It's probably one of the great Felgrin plays that, that's kind of underrated. Like, that was, that was pretty good. We'll get another door bear back. So yeah, he, he, oh, I can go ahead and delete this. You are unaffected. Yeah, right. And then we'll go ahead and see my next opponent, which is also named Daniel. <laughs> uh, Daniel F my, F, F my 1997? 1997? Nah, now I'm older than you, man. I was born in 94. <laughs> uh, but he pretty much just pooped out a video and it wasn't great quality. It was literally nothing. And he made it to the next round because it was one big popularity contest and because he was bigger than some of the other people he got the likes to make it to the next round because it was all based on likes you know whatever video gets liked the most makes the next video next round and i wasn't as big as some of the people which of course didn't make you of course seem like i'm salty but no really not it has nothing to do with that but the winner of season three dual right 88 he was already fairly big when before he you know uh won the previous season next year you get to season 
Uh, let me go ahead and read this. So it's like aqua aperture's uh, you know, that this color center from the filter grader, you can target one in your grader special summon it. Also, you have special summon the color. So you just get an attack and this card center grader, who cares? And this only one is like water monsters can't be sure by battle and shit like that. And then this one is a set card. Okay. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing my next card, but I'm thinking about just pitching it because I don't need it. Because this is important, this is important, this is important, this is important. So the upstart's not. And while I could get the next card, I don't want to give him a thousand life points to probably just pitch that card for turn 30. Like the next card had to be like absolutely amazing. And there's not a lot of absolutely amazing in here. This deck's fairly aggressive, no traps along those lines. I'll just defend these emptiness. So go ahead and activate this. They got popping his his uh his monster. Like his monster is more of a threat than his, his spell card. Like, I don't care about your fucking aquarium set, like, at all. So, um, I'm thinking about getting Diox. Diox, so, send Storm, because I could probably use him later. I'm going to grab Diox, because that's usable later. And then I'll go ahead and do my Sparkfield Pop Your Monster, which may float, may not, but at least it's poppable, and it's not like this card's doing anything to protect them. And I love getting rid of my crap because he'll just come back. It's just right, like fill spell so important. Oh shit, it's running done. Alright. Like when Aqua actresses can actually do something because of the power of Tree Toad and Burgestum or Paleozoic, like yeah, that, that's when you know that some shenanigans are going on. There's some fucking power. <laughs> Cause Tree Toad, Tree Toad's so good. Tree Toad's so good. So he can like banish this and if he has another frog or something like that. Uh, Trudeau, you can move and play one frog monster in your graveyard, except for frog jacks, yeah, especially on this card from your graveyard. Yeah, that's right. So you need another frog, you can banish him to get another level 2 aqua, and then bam, there's true toad, so. Rip. <laughs> or, uh, I think I'm in a fun situation. But yeah, it's just one big popularity contest. Wow. Uh, just, mm. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, I guess he was hoping that he'd be able to flip that vanity, stall it out, maybe play something, get rid of the vanities, and go into true toad, but nope. Alright, we'll get another door bear back. But yeah, it was one big popularity contest, and then when you know when Cali Effect blasted me on YouTube, and and, it, and I think that was our big falling out. That was the point where I just didn't want to deal with him. You know, like the man has his ups and downs. I've known this man for years. I think I met Cali Effect in like 2007. Like we've known each other for years, going on a decade. All right. And for him, you know, before he even made his YouTube channel, he made his YouTube channel, and I promoted his YouTube channel. He actually had to ask me, like, hey, could you, like, delete your videos that involve me? Because when you search up, you know, the Cali effect, your videos will pop up before me, because I was, I used to be bigger than him, and then, of course, he passed me up. He's, like, long gone, you know? Uh, but with that, it's just like, you know, we, we were pals before you even had a YouTube channel, before it was anything, and you decided to blast me on fucking YouTube like that? Like, all right, all right, sure. Alright, sure, so um, I wasn't a big fan of that, and that's what we had a falling out. I mean, I talked to him a couple months ago, because we just happened to meet at the same locals, and we talked, we talked, we discussed, and the, the beef is squashed. I haven't really talked to him since, just because, I don't know, I don't know, I really, I don't, I don't, I don't know why, but, uh, with that, you know, just, that was just uncool, you know? I wasn't salty, I just wanted a better system, and my system, my idea, was that it should be 50-50. Sure, the likes are important, that your popularity with the viewers and how much they like your content is important, that's important, yes. But, what's also important is the possibility of this, where it's just one big popular contest where the guy literally does nothing but makes it to the next round because he's bigger than the person, where he edged out someone to the next round who actually worked hard on their content and, and you know, did something, instead of just, oh, well, you know, he's big, he has more subscribers, so that means he's probably going to get more likes and make it to the next round. I wasn't salty. I, I don't care that I didn't make it past round one. You know, it was an honor itself just to make it to freaking, oh, uh, see, this is why you don't see Twin Twister, because you don't want to get your Twin Twister set. Pop, you know? I would rather Twin Twister your turn twister, then you turn twister my turn twister. Make sense? So, yeah, that, that's, he, he got ripped on that one. He seriously got ripped. So I'll go ahead and send this, do the freaking crab play. I grabbed my crab, and I, I just got nothing to do with it. Hopefully I can, you know, upstart Goblin and possibly draw into something. You know, we, we're on trade-in. Like, I feel spell, I trade-in, there's a lot of cards. So hopefully this upstart Goblin, seeing this next card will allow me to get something. And that's why I said trade-in. I can go ahead and trade in my Dark Stone Dragon, draw two more cards, uh, and then they're not the greatest. <laughs> Um, I guess I could swing the memories, like, like, bro, I'm the additional bro infusion, you can only activate one, like, I could swing the memories and get rid of his freaking hero guy. Just, does Blaze Man do anything? Like, once he's summoned, he doesn't do anything, right? Like, it's not once per turn he can do anything. It's called him during your main phase, you can send my element to hero, great bear, just, oh yeah, you can, to have it again, if I thought that it was on summon, nope. So, it might be best to actually just swing the memories my Dark Storm Dragon and just attack over him. I'll die during the end phase, but at least I'll prevent him from setting a Shadow Mist, becoming similar to a Shadow Mist, being able to mass change his 
Blaze Man and Gift of Sword Drop of Shadow Miss. Like, that's the only thing, because this is not the greatest of hands right now. Like, I need my fill spell. I mean, of course, we're running triple one fill spell, triple terraform. Never get it. So, I just wanted a judge system where it was like half the, half the value, 50% of how you well you do is because how you're like. So, the popular income is. But then you have a judge of, like I said, three. I literally said three big Yugi tubers, you know? And this seems like this season's three big Yugi tubers who can be like, you know what? No, I didn't like that content. Boo, you know? But literally, if that was the case, so it's like, yeah, he got more likes than that opponent, but because of the judge, and the judge was like, well, of course he didn't do well. He literally did nothing. No, he's not going to the next round. And that would be 50-50, and I think I would like that system better. So, that's how I feel about it. That's how I felt about it. So, if that's what they're doing for Season 4, then I think my my likeness of joining, or at least attempting to join Season 2, would be higher than just, what, it's exactly the same as it was previously? No, I'm not into it. So... Uh, I mean, he's he's taking it extremely slow, like, I guess, like, these are one of those times where I kind of want to run, and I mean, I'm already running three Amethysts, I mean, three, two Amethysts, cause, just in case, and the drawing the system like that, uh, so maybe I could throw in, like, a rank seven, like, this is, like, the perfect check, wow, you're gonna be wanting that? Sure, you can have that, that ain't what I'm mad at, like, literally, it's not even what I'm mad at, uh, but, sometimes I just wish that fucking Amethyst was, like, Seraphonite, you know? Like, I really do wish. Like, maybe I can summon my crab, because it doesn't seem like he's summoning or overextending. So, I'm hoping that I can go around full circle. Like, really, I would just have to try my goddamn field spell. Or even freaking uh, Unleash Your Power. Like, there's a reason why I'm running these cards, because Geminis are slow. I gotta summon, and then I gotta get an additional summon before I can really do anything. Like, really, I'm just hoping that he doesn't do anything once again. The crab lives, and I can get a search. Because if he can't, if he doesn't want to go and kill my zero attack, I mean, zero attack, zero defense monster, maybe leave my crab alone, which is exactly what he did. Ah, there's my spark field. There is my spark field, motherfucker. That's exactly what I want to see. Ah, that's what I needed. All right, so I can use my normal summon to gain my effect, so I can get my search on, and that's awesome. That is awesome. Uh, I'm thinking about sending possibly a crab. Yeah, crab, and then I'll grab me you. And then I can go ahead and activate my spark field, pop your set to pop my crab. There goes your bottomless. Damn, he got vanity's bottomless. Did he get vanity's? That's another good one. No, no, he got Rhoda, bottomless, upstart, warning, and <laughs> like, like, damn, number generator. Yeah, calm the fuck down. So now I can actually start doing some damage to you. You only have 2,000 life points left. The only thing I have to worry about summoning him is that he won't be in my hand anymore, but I mean, I, I need to get some damage in before, you know, he starts building up. That, that's the problem with this though. I can't, I don't, I can't risk taking it slow. Sometimes I wish that Amethyst was like Seraphonite so I get that additional normal summon. Like, I could possibly throw in some lights to send, maybe like a Trickon or something, but it just has no synergy. Like, we have twos and we have eights, so I don't know. I don't know what light I could possibly send. Like, maybe, maybe like a wolf or something, but then I could risk drawing it. Like, and then like I said, no synergy. Like I said, I don't know what light I could throw in here to make it worth my while. Because there's no four, really no foreplays. There's no foreplay in this deck, guys. There's no foreplay. You just get right into it. <laughs> Alright, we're getting a duel bear. Alright, another duel. Like I said, throwing the light, then I get the Seraph Knight. That additional normal summon? I mean, for Geminis? Come on, that'd be great. So, yeah. Uh, still not the greatest of hands. Still not the greatest. No filled spell. No filled spell, no Gemini monsters. Like, wow, I got two Unleash Your Power. So, if I get like a crab or something, that'd be pretty cool. Then I drew one of my. Uh, my Lazulis, that's uh, the problem with running brilliant, Gemini Brilliant Fusion. Like, I've never been a big problem with it. Oh, never mind. It's fucking Monarchs. Never mind. Never mind. We'll get another duel. Yeah. Like, like if you're going to play meta, just host and say meta. Like, extra, you know, Domain Monarch? Yeah, that's definitely meta. You know, just say meta. You want to do meta? You're dealing with meta? Or either you want to do meta against meta or you're informing that you're playing with meta. Just type in meta. Because I don't want to do against meta. I'm sorry. I'm playing chemical. This deck's still kind of shitty. Like, it really is, so. Ugh. Yeah, this hand is... Yeah. If I could switch for Sparkfield, like a Sparkfield with a like chemical field or something along those lines, then it's much be, might be much better. You can actually bust out the play. Alright. Uh-huh. Wow, wow. When they send Destiny Draw, that's when you know the luck is real. The luck is real. <laughs> when you send that fucking, uh, that G-Draw. That D-Draw, though. Oh, Crawl Dragon. I kind of thought that you were going to go into Ultimaya play, but it doesn't look like it. Alright, another Resonator call, sure. So, uh, I guess I'll ask him. I, I really I want to know your guys' opinion. Do you think I should enter, try to enter Season 4? I mean, I don't think I'll make it, but I mean, what do I have to lose? You know, 
if anything, I might make it and, you know, maybe make it to 16. If that, I'd be honored like, like, like that. You know, I, th I think I've, I think I've earned it. I've been working on this channel for four years, going on four and a half. Wow. Uh, I draw her every fucking time. Uh, is there any fucking play I can really do right now? Like, that, that's the thing that I'm wondering. Send you, send you, summon you. Just not drawing. If I if I have my filled spell, then hell fucking yeah, like I'm awesome. But I don't, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> so since I don't have my fucking filled spell, there's really not anything I can do. Like, I'm trying to think. Like I can send, I can summon crowd, and I can send something that can attack with a coral dragon. Of course, it'll draw a card, and the draw off would be draw, and it's just like fucking rep. So I think I think doing unleash your power might be best. Uh, so, I'm gonna go ahead and send Oxide. Yeah, I can send me Oxide, and then I can grab me Oxen, and then Oxen can summon the Darkstone Dragon if I get my additional long summon for my effect next turn, so. Overall, just, like, this deck, like, it, it's like a complete difference whether you have a filled spell or not. Like, if you have your filled spell, you're okay. If you don't, you ain't doing shit, and that's how I feel. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta get rid of the Coral Dragon. You can't leave the Coral Dragon there because then he might be able to do all my play and he could pitch to pop me. So I think it's best to get rid of the Coral Dragon. Even though he'll draw, but he'd rather, he would draw whether he leave the field or anything once he's secret summon. So it really doesn't matter. Overall, this is not the greatest of hands. Like, I'm gonna triple terraform and triple my field spell. Never fucking get it. Like, I, uh, more often than not, I don't get it when I need to get it. So. Oh, yeah, I forgot how much power sets me. So, you know what? That's not terrible. I'd rather be set than in attack mode. <laughs> Just, you know, he he, has, he opened up much better, his luck is much higher, I mean, fucking Diamond Dude with a D, to a D draw, like, come on, tell me that's not good, tell me that's not good, it's straight up plus, you straight up get the draw into a plus two, like, damn, the struggle's probably gonna be real for me, so, won't be surprised if he just goes, he, we know he's a red resonator, red resonator summon Armageddon Knight and does the ultimate play, if anything, like, when Chemical Beast, which is, I guess, the pinnacle of fucking Gemini decks, gets beat by fucking death needles of all things that's when you know the deck is just nah and slow but it's just as good as it's just how well you open <laughs> like do i really gotta throw in like planet pathfinder because of how important this fucking fill spell is oh never mind you can just play fucking hero legend and just go dank well uh i thought we were playing destiny hero well never mind he's actually gonna summon uh blaze man okay grab yourself a poly sure what you gonna what you gonna fuse into and dragon <laughs> interesting. I'm actually kind of interested in what you're doing right now. I thought maybe you're just going to go into Denkwall and then I was going to have like no respect for you, but maybe it looks like you might not just go into Denkwall. Or you might just go into Denkwall. Oh, never mind. You're just going to bust out the damn soul charge. Oh, shit. Never mind, people. Never mind. <laughs> you got to bust out that soul charge. Oh, Coral Dragon and Red Resonator. Yep. So he can go ahead and Synchro Summon into um, Stardust Charge Warrior and then go into Ultimaya. So he's still good. He's still good. Gained 2400, so. Fuck this whole time, <laughs> right? So, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about maybe just leaving some to you. Oh, never mind. Just some a second Coral Dragon. So, I guess we're going to even out, but even if you pitch and pop my shit, I really don't care. Like, that's the thing. It's just Coral Dragon he draws. But you only get the effect of Coral Dragon once per turn, so. If I regeki you, then you'll just. You only get one draw instead of two. And you can't attack me this turn, so that's nice. Oh, and you're gonna turn to Denkwall. Never mind. Never mind. I, I kind of thought that you, I wasn't gonna go against Denkwall the deck, but never mind. It's gonna be Denkwall the deck, so my shit's gonna get banished. Like, all right, and you're gonna get to search. At least I still have the Ryaki. <laughs> and I can't be attacked this turn, so that's nice. I mean, does that make Soul Charge fair? Absolutely not. But <laughs> it's just one of those cards, kind of like Card of Might. It's just one of those cards, right? So uh, uh, I. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Two minute video why I should be it. I mean, been on here for YouTube for going on four and a half years. I work very hard. I have over 4,000 uploads and, you know, I keep going. I upload almost daily and, you know, you can't, you can't deny that I'm very good. Oh, never mind. He could just go with Denkwa and go into Altaya. I was like, he can't go into Altaya. Yeah, he can. He could just do these two and then still draw a card. And if I throw a deck at him, still draw a card. Never mind. Just leave two Coral Dragons and just end his turn. Like, okay. I'm just gonna throw the Regeki at your ass. Like, I'm not even gonna think about it. Just get Regeki, and you only get one draw instead of two. So that's nice that you only get one draw instead of two. But my hand is still shitty. Like I keep drawing Darkstone Dragon, no trade ins, no nothing. Like no filled spell, no fucking anything. This card only gets effective if it's sent to the by a card effect. 
So I seriously doubt he'll probably just attack over it. Like, I just... I don't have anything. <laughs> I need my field spell. If I had my field spell, I'd be like, let's go. If I had my fucking... Get my additional... Uh, get my effect, then let's go. Even if I had maybe a spell card I didn't need, I could pitch and at least get my attack. Like, 1950, it wouldn't be anything. And this card's just stuck in my hand. And I think I don't get its effect off a of Twin Twist, if I remember correctly. This card seems to get by a card effect. I think I, I pitched it with Twin Twist and I didn't get the effect, so... I don't think I get the effect off of that. Not that I really want to grab back anything. A crab is banished, that's in my graveyard, but at this point I probably would rather have it in my graveyard. Like, even if this is Ref and I can like at least in a normal summon get a different normal summon tribute these two for you know Dark Storm, like it's Ref and I seem that'd be great, but there's just no real light monsters that I would really want to do in this deck. If anything, I think the crab search is nice, like I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll try to throw. I'll, maybe I'll see all the light monsters and try to throw something in there. Shit, if anything, I just throw effect veil. If I can, effect veil is fun to draw in, fun to send. If anything, so. No, I regret him. It still has plays out the ass, so he should still be good. So now charge, or do you actually run three coral dragon? I, I, I remember them running two coral dragon, but not three. So maybe Goyo Guardian. Maybe just straight up Goyo Guardian. <laughs> So to you, and then I gotta send them a video of my best video. I don't know what really is my best video. I really don't. I'd say maybe my best video is Yu-Gi-Oh! Teardraft like Season 1 intro, but they've probably seen that. I really do think that's not probably, my, probably, probably my best video to date. Oh, I don't know. He says a shit ton of background. Then drops the bubble man, and now he can fucking hit me with a sink 10 if he, wouldn't, if he had one. Leo. I already used my Regeki. Outside of that, I'm fucking rip. Like, I'd have to attack over him, or something, something that doesn't target, but I think everything targets, so... Alright, so I'm gone, I return all your sets, too bad, it's fucking, yeah. Doesn't do anything, he could just reset them card. If anything, that's probably better, because those sets were probably bluffs, and he just wanted to special on Bubble Man, so... Rip. <laughs> so really, that, that situation probably got even worse. At least with that, I could possibly twin twist or some of his sets, even if they were bluffs. He's still gonna, you know, get hit with shit that he probably didn't want to set, so... <sighs> still not looking great. I need, I need my field spell. I need my, I need it. Definitely need it. I would, I'd be surprised if he doesn't set any of that. Why? You really you probably just want to summon Bubble Man. No, well, one, one set's not a bluff. Nope, nope, nope. I have nothing. I, pff, God damn. Like, if anything, maybe I can set this so I won't die, but, like, wow. Like, triple terraform and triple my field spell. Don't draw it. And then more dang blah. Like, alright. Alright, I think, I think we're done here. I think we're done here. I think we're done here. Alright, we'll get one more duel. Be right back. Alright, but yeah, I'd say the, the fucking You Get to Draft Look Season 1 video is probably my most successful video. To tell the truth, it went viral, it was ultimately a lot in the Yugi Tubing community. Even the people that are the judges even guessed out there for me, so they they know the success of that video. The video was very popular, so. Uh, I took the deck a little, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, I took out the Upstart and one of the Dooms, Doom Dragons, because I was running 3 and I was drawing it. The reason I was running 3 is because it was level 8 and it's for trading, but I can't and drawing it and wasn't doing shit, right? So, I exchanged them for two effect veilers, and I took out one of the aquas in Thurin's Refinite. That way I can do that play if need be for an additional normal summon, because that's pretty powerful. I mean, we already know that. And then I draw a whole bunch of fucking Elytra powers. I got the ox and I got the oxen, so I could make a rank 8 play. I could. It wouldn't be terrible, but once again, I'm drawing my fucking Malefic Stardust Dragon with nothing to do with it, you know? I can think for now, I'm just gonna take it slow. I'm just gonna take it slow. I opened up, meh. Still, triple terraforming, triple field spell, don't draw it. Like, god damn it. My luck is just fucking booty. <laughs> booty ass luck. So, I really, I would love your guys' opinion. You think, yeah, sure, you know what, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and enter in the, uh, the next great Yuki Super season four. You got nothing to lose. Uh, I'll probably, like I said, if my most successful video, and then I gotta do a reason why video, two minutes long, so. I'll probably do that live, even though I don't show my face too often. You guys know what I look like. Like, I ain't anything. Well, I guess I'll throw a Geki at you. I mean, I got nothing to pop, and at least I get a plus one off of it. I mean, at this situation, it'd be exactly like Darkhold, but I mean, that was fucking skillless, to say the least. What was that other one? Look like a Life Swarm monster? No, Mechanical Bunny. Okay. Mecha Bunny. <laughs> That's really all I got. Like, I. I if I lose to this, if I lose to this, because this guy looks bad. Like, this guy actually looks bad. 
If I lose to this, then that's how you know that my fucking luck is just straight up booty ass cheeks. And then I draw her, so that's one last that I fucking have in my deck. Like, wow. Like, what the fuck? Is my luck that terrible where I literally cannot draw into anything that I need? <laughs> like, I just need my field spell. I really, that's really all I need. If I need a like on my field spell, like, I'd be ecstatic. But instead, no. Draw on a triple unleash your power, which is fine, but it's just like, eh. I don't draw on my field spell. No terraforming, no field spell, spark field, no nothing. Like, wow. If anything, fucking brilliant fusion to Seraphonite would be decent. <laughs> you know, at least I'd be decent right now. Like, wow. I draw I draw this more, I draw the Zooey more often than I draw Tower Forming and fucking Sparkfield. Like, god damn. This card's a two, that's a two to six ratio. Like, what the fuck? Oh, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and summon and do Unleash Your Power so I at least get my search. Like, it's better than nothing. It really is better than nothing. That'd be great if it was like chemical be spark fill, but it's not. You know, generally these decks that are super powerful that rely on well, not super powerful, but rely on their field spell. Generally you can't their field spells aren't named for their archetypes you can't even fucking search it. It's, I mean it'd be a damn shame if you could just use crap to search your fucking spark field. God forbid that you could search for your damn field spell of your fucking deck, but I guess their spell spell's not technically theirs, it's, it's kinda of like for all Gemini monsters, but still. They came with chemical bees and stuff like that, so. Um, I don't even know who the fuck I want. Like, that's the sad thing, I don't even know who the fuck I want. Like, I pretty much have it. The sad thing is I pretty much have everyone. Like, a dark, the getting a dark storm would be ter terrible. I think it's a chemical beast. No, send a Gemini out of Gemini. I'll send a crab and I'm gonna get me my Gemini. He might be a trading target, and if I do happen to get his play set up, I can. I need a face up. I need a continuous spell or trap. You know, so either my field spell or my brilliant fusion, and I can just, you know, clear out. Might as well attack. I mean, if he doesn't have a monster that has stronger booty than this, then I guess I get some damage in. Yay! And if not, then who cares? Like, really. I could really care less what it is. Oh, it's Penguin Soldier? Oh, God forbid, Penguin Soldier. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> that's fine. If anything, that's okay because now my crab is back in my hand where you pr might have killed it. So, uh, how many cards do I have in my hand? I have too many. So, I gotta set both my uh, shit. Like, this is sad where I'm actually dueling this shit. Like, I should be kicking the shit out of this opponent right here. But, nope, 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 because I'm not drawing anything that I need. So, rip. Sparkfield? It's a twister. Alright, alright. So, I, let's see. Let's see if I actually. Fucking pitch my Lazuli, will I get the effect? I don't think so. I don't think I get the effect. No, I don't. Because I did have a normal monster in my graveyard. So, nope. Nope. That does absolutely fucking fuck ton lootly nothing. So, I think at this point I'm just gonna go until a rank 8 play. Like, fuck it. Uh, I didn't hold enough long enough. Go ahead and just go unleash your power. That. Like, I'm not sure power is actually pretty decent in this deck. Now, who do I want to go into? Who do I have in here? I have Crab, and I think it's like I have my Gemini effects with you. This might be the first time. Um, this card is something I can target on Gemini unless you're special summon. Unless card is a your throw. Uh, your opponent cannot target. Face up Gemini unless it's right attack. Also, your opponent cannot target the wild. When it's Gemini monster, it's almost something you can target. See me throw from this card. Then make your opponent see one card in it. You know what? Fuck it. I don't care. I'm never, I never go to my fucking boss monster. I don't think I, the entire time it's been on here. And you know, this is a great time if any. Then at least I can summon my crab back and you can attack it, so. Be cool if I, you know, got my effects off my Gemini monsters. I could activate another unleash your power and get another search, but I think I'm okay for right now. For right now. And he can't target for an attack. And then if I normal summon another Gemini monster, then I can start picking shit out of his hand. So that's how I'm cool too. All their choice, so. He gets to send a card from his hand or fill the graveyard. That would definitely be his choice. Maybe he'll summon Song Wishes, but Song Wishes, I mean, he's getting life points. He gained at least, what, 15, 2,000? So, he's good, he's good, he's good. So, I, I like your opinion on it. I like your guys' opinion. Do you think I should enter or no? Like I said, I'll probably ask Nim Nim or Simo or... I forgot the other judge. I think it's Dorok? Is it Dorok? Is it Dorok? I don't remember. Uh, one of the three, one of the three judges, I'll ask them, be like, hey, just... Are you guys, are you, as judges, going to do anything? Like, it's going to be 50-50, or is it just fucking popularity contest? Because if it's just popularity contest, I don't think I'm going to, I'm going to think I'm going to do well. Not that I'm going to do well, but I, I'm not sure if the, the end result is going to be fair. Uh, awesome. I got my 
finally got my spark field. More often than not, I draw spark field than terraforming. Like, uh, that's that's interesting. So those are just when it's card normal summon. Generally, I'm not normal summon, but I normal summon to gain my effect. Like, eh, experiment. Let's see. I normal summon to gain my effect. So does that mean I get to activate my effect? Yes, I do. So I will go ahead and activate effect. Detach the cemetery. You send a card from your hand. It fails to get yard. And you know, definitely, definitely, I'm gonna go ahead and pop that fucking uh, messenger piece. Like, that's gone. That's fucking gone. All right, some wishes. All right. Uh, I could, I could. Never mind. Right, hold on. I gotta get my search first. I gotta get my search first. I'm thinking, I can get Fox, and I can go Fox, and I can summon my uh, Dark Storm. But then I use my Nelson for my effect this turn. So, never fucking mind. So. Probably send a crab, and I'm gonna grab my ox. And then I don't really care what happens to Methan Hyde or whatever fuck his name is. I'm gonna pop that Methan piece so I can at least attack. And the next turn I can do the shenanigans. Get rid of that messenger piece because fuck you, stop trying to stall. And then I'll get rid of my crab. And it's a mirror force. Fuck it's a mirror force. Suppose that. <laughs> Nightmare will. Alright, that's fine. I just can't attack and I think I pick 500, that's fine. Still I can only attack like this card is like, I think this chain is like 100% better than this card. <laughs> 100%. Uh, if anything, I could summon fucking Malefic Stardust if I wanted to, but I'm okay for right now. I think. I can't do any shit. This duel, this duel shouldn't even be lasting as long as it is. <laughs> Alright, another set card, sure. Like I said I could just blow him away. Just semi and I do it to another Starfield, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go unleash your power to I mean summon summon and get my effect. Well, I guess I might as well make you Yeah, I might as well detach make you send something. <laughs> it is pretty powerful. And it's like my Gemini monsters can't be targeted for attacks or card effects or is it just attack? Attacks uh, also you can cannot target face up general as you control with card effects. So you can't even like target me with a card effect. Go ahead and send the Gemini Monster and I can use use Dark Rail, get in your effect, summon, then I can go. Wow man, he's this man is literally trying to stall out gravity bind? Like what the fuck is gravity bind do? How do you see monsters? Then I can uh use my normal summon to gain my effect. I'll have my effect, and I will go ahead and summon Dark Storm. Dark Storm, everybody becomes eight. Uh, then I can do Unleash Your Power to have them all gain their effects, even though I'd use your effect, you two gain your effect, and that's pretty powerful. That means I can get a search. So, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and send Dark Storm and grab the Dioxin. Then, uh, do I want to use Sparkfield? Like, I could. I could use Sparkfield Pot, but I'm about to literally just fucking Heavy Storm him anyway. And then, yeah, and then I could go for damage. Yeah, I don't need, I don't need that. I'll send that to clear that out. What was your other set? Something starts me up to Stalling? Yep, Gravity Bind? Yep. Wow. Finally, finally, actually start drawing into place. Like, oh, my, I think it's just my luck. Like, fucking Cosmos get fucking Cosmotown more than I get my spark field and terraforming. And then when I draw into it, I draw into multiples. Like, they're all just stacked together. Like, alright. So. Anyway, I'm done with the fun demo duels. Like I said, the polls are going to be up until Sunday. And after that, I'll take the polls down and then put up the decks for daily duels for next month from August to September. And then do the deck promise all the decks that don't stay, which it seems like we might be getting some different decks as what we've seen. Like I said, we got plenty of time. If you haven't voted, vote all right. Make sure that you vote. Uh, and tell me in the comment section below, should I, should I put my hat in? Should I put my hat in? Because, I mean, what do I got to lose, if anything? It just seems like it'll be a lot of work and I'm not sure if my quality is up to par. This is the thing, that's the thing with my channel is that the quality may not be as high, but I give you guys multiple uploads. And uh, and then when the channel changes come November, I'm thinking about maybe upping the quality. Like, I have a webcam and it's like HD webcam, it's shit. It really is, like, I don't think it's a graded webcam. So, so I don't really do things along those lines and uh, I don't do too many, you know, live videos like I, I really don't i really don't do too many i used to do live videos 
and I possibly could, but I just don't feel like putting the effort to play real life Yu-Gi-Oh like that. So that's the reason why I don't do live videos. Like, I think you could be a YouTuber without doing live videos. I mean, for goodness sakes, Mega Capital G, when's the last time he's done something, you know, live with live cards? You know, you know, TPY Joe, he reviews, reviews cards and why his videos that you can see him. You know, it doesn't really have to do anything with live Yu-Gi-Oh Yu -Oh playing or opening or anything along those lines. So that's why I really don't want to do the effort of those kind of live videos. And, um, and, uh, what else? What else? What else? And yeah, the quality, um, I get it, it's not the greatest, it's really not. And sometimes I'm not the most professional, and I apologize for that at times. But overall, I just, just thinking that maybe I want to put my hat in, and maybe uh, give me some ideas of what I want to do for my channel, uh, coming and experiment, really, really, just experiment. So, anyway, tell me what you guys think, like I said. Uh, I think you have to turn in your application by next Friday, so I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it, but why not? Really, the, the reason is why not? Even if it's if it's still the same system, it's a like popularity contest. If the judges can, you know, put me in just to the first round, and it's not like you're competing against everyone. You're really competing against another person who will have similar sub count, and you know, possibly I can go against someone who has sub, sub similar sub count, and you know, at least get to the next round by you know, putting up a great video and now doing that. I don't know. I don't know. Because instead of just chasing everyone, it's your, it's one on one. If you saw didn't see the video, anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. I will see you guys definitely for the final live stream uh, tomorrow. You know, I'm feeling fine. I am not overloaded with homework. We should be good, so we should be live streaming tomorrow. Who's gonna join me? I'm not sure. Hopefully, I'll get someone. Said everybody's been gone and busy, but hey, what you gonna do? So, anyway. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Said, we'll see what decks are going to be on for next month and deck profiles and double Daily Duels probably ensuing. Thanks for watching, thanks for support, and I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.